I was really lucky. I, I, I grew up in a home where my dad is, I'm a first generation Italian, so my dad came over from Italy, he was nine. Um, really focused on building a construction company. He wasn't, he was definitely creative, but wasn't, I didn't grow up in a creative household per se. Um, so there wasn't a lot of collaboration. There wasn't a lot of push towards creativity. Somehow I found music um, when my parents got divorced. And like I said, I feel like I was just, just by, it's like this perfect storm of circumstances where I, I was able to kind of realize that music was like my escape and music became this kind of, um, kind of saved me in a way. So, um, but I see lots of kids and I see, you know, obviously the educational system where it's very easy to get pigeonholed into, hey, you're not creative. And I saw it with my, with my, my middle child, Luca, um, where he has this incredible creative mind, but just by virtue of, of circumstance and chance, he was in this class and even at a creative school, his teacher said something to him that really kind of shut him down and he felt like he wasn't creative. So it's really about, um, building that that confidence and having these two things in sync from from as early as you know you know we start finger painting and doing all that stuff when we were kids so what's it we're born with it it's just does it get suppressed or does it does it have the chance to blossom and I've in the neuroscience all all proves that these things you know they can exist they can coexist and we're much more powerful as human beings with with both